What's up everybody, it's Sean here and I'm back today to give you guys a review of the Union Los Angeles collaboration with Nike on this Dunk Low in the Passport Pack in the Midnight Navy and Pistachio colorway. Today's video is sponsored by who else? The good people from Heflux. Heflux is my all-time favorite sneaker insoles and they sell ETPU insoles which essentially is the same material you'll find from Adidas Boost. So if you're looking to add some additional comfort inside your shoes, be sure to check out their website which I've linked down below in the description box. You'll see they sell a variety of different insoles, so depending on the type of insole density and the cushioning setup you're looking for, whether that's for a pair of thick winter boots or for sneakers, you're going to find there's a suitable insole for everybody. So I've been a paying customer of Heflux for years now, and I honestly stand by their products. To me, they really are very comfortable. So if you guys want to check them out and try a pair for yourself, be sure to use the code SEANGO at checkout and get 15% off your entire purchase. So this is the much anticipated collaboration between Union Los Angeles and Nike on this Dunk Low. Part of a three shoe passport pack, all three of the colorways have this passport or travel theme to it. And it's inspired by the earlier days of Union in the early 2000s, where they would fly around the world just to find those very special regional exclusive shoes. And I believe that all three colorways of this pack are actually inspired by a regional exclusive Nike Dunk from the early 2000s. So for this debut colorway, which is Midnight Navy and Pistachio, this pair is actually inspired by the European exclusive Nike Dunk High Pistachio from I believe 2003. So this pair released on Union's website on February 11th for 150 US dollars, which is the equivalent to roughly 195 Canadian dollars. And similar to some of their past Union and Jordan brand collaboration drops, they had pretty good bot protection for this release, so a lot of my personal friends were able to check out. So first things first, here's a quick look at the box. This comes in a special edition box just for this collection. It's done in this pattern print on top in this greenish tone. We have Union Los Angeles branding on the front and on the other side of the box, we have Union Los Angeles frontman logo here as well. And the paper inside is uniquely branded as well. It sort of has this passport vibe to it, which is a really nice added touch. So jumping straight into the details of this shoe, the majority of the upper is covered in this ripstop nylon material. On the toe box, however, you can see that underneath this ripstop layer, we have this pistachio or pale green colored leather, and like all your other Nike Dunks, we have this perforated finish on the toe box itself. Surrounding the outer edge of the toe box, again we have more ripstop nylon, and underneath this we have a midnight navy colored leather. You'll see that the ripstop itself is sort of done in this unfinished look, so the edges are a bit frayed, and it sort of has that DIY vibe to it. And fun fact, that outer layer of ripstop can actually be cut away, and the material underneath is actual genuine leather. So covering the eyelets, we have more of that midnight navy leather, again covered with ripstop. And then on the mid panel underneath this, we have more of that pistachio colored leather. And overlaid on top, we have this Nike swoosh, which is constructed out of this reflective silver 3M finish. And within it, we have this pattern, which sort of resembles like snake skin or a chain link fence. And you can see that throughout the shoe, we have these extra long threads purposely left like this to give it more of that DIY and unfinished look. Hanging off the side wing on the lateral side only, we have this yellow tab with Union LA branding on it. And then moving downwards, we have more of that midnight navy colored leather with ripstop overlays on top, which wraps around the side of the shoe and around the back. And then glued onto the lateral side of the heel, we have this circular tab with the Union LA frontman logo once again. Above this, here we have more of that pistachio colored finish. And surrounding the top portion of the heel, we have more of that reflective silver material. And pressed on top of this, we have the Nike wordmark done in this pistachio color. Turning our attention back to the front, hanging off the shoe, they also give you this cardboard luggage tag, which adds to that whole travel and passport theme of the shoe, which I really, really liked. Turning our attention back to the front, so these come with two different lace options. So the standard default lace is just your normal flat style lace in white, but they also give you a secondary pair of midnight navy colored laces as well. Underneath this, the tongue is slightly padded and it's covered in this ripstop nylon material once again. And at the very top, we have this tag with Nike branding. The inner liner of the shoe is foam padded and it's lined in this blue color textile. And then as for the insoles, these come with their standard foam lined insole. It's finished in this navy colored finish on top. We have the Nike logo on the right foot and the Union LA frontman logo on the left foot. So the upper of these dunks sits atop this solid rubber cup sole, which is left entirely in white. Flipping the shoe over to the bottom though, the outsole here is done in this semi-translucent blue colored rubber finish. We have that same circular pivot point on the forefoot and Nike branding in the middle but on the forefoot you can see Union LA's frontman logo here once again. So that breaks down the look and the construction of this shoe. And for those wondering about sizing, to me these fit like most of my other Nike Dunks, so I'd recommend sticking true to size. So I'm a true size 10, slightly on the wider side. I got these in a size 10 and they fit me great. If however you have really wide feet and you sometimes go up a half size for your Nike Dunks, then I'd probably recommend doing the same thing for this specific pair as well. But I feel like if you have narrow, normal, or slightly wide feet, 
true to size should be fine. Next up in terms of the comfort, so this feels like any of your other Nike Dunks. So with that said, it's not the most comfortable shoe out there. The Dunk in general isn't one of my favorite pairs from a comfort standpoint. I feel like it's pretty stiff and firm underfoot, and there's not too much from a cushioning standpoint. However, for just an everyday casual use shoe, they're gonna feel perfectly fine. Just don't expect anything too soft and too cushioned underfoot. Finally, in terms of the overall quality and the craftsmanship on this pair, so it's kind of hard to gauge the quality of the materials because everything is pretty much covered in ripstop. However, the images that I've seen online of people that have actually removed this ripstop layer, just from judging the pictures, the quality of the leather seems okay. So I don't think I'm actually going to remove the ripstop layer, I'm going to probably leave it as is. So it's kind of hard to give you guys an accurate assessment of the material quality. However, the overall build and craftsmanship, I thought it was fine. I really had no issues and no complaints at all from that standpoint. So with all that out of the way now, let's toss these Union Dunks on feet and I'll show you guys how these look. Overall, I gotta say this is a very dope shoe in hand. I might even say that the pictures don't even do it justice. Obviously, a big portion of the demand behind this shoe is the fact that it is a limited collaboration, and Union Collab seem to have the Midas touch these days. But objectively speaking, I gotta say this is a very clean colorway. I think it's very wearable, and despite the fact that the colorway is kinda safe, they throw on a variety of materials which really spices up this design. Of the three, however, between this one, the purple and yellow one, and the Psychic Blue, I believe, is the third one, I'm going to put the Psychic Blue as my favorite, this one as second, and the Lakers colorway as third, but that could totally change if and when I get all three in hand. So let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about this Union Nike Dunk and this Midnight Navy and Pistachio colorway. What are your overall thoughts on this collaboration so far, and of the three, how would you rank them from best to worst? If you guys like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. You can follow me on Instagram at esco8, check me out on Twitter at sean.go, and visit my website as well at seango.ca. So until next time, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this review and hopefully it helped you in some way, and I'll catch you guys all in the next one.